Hey guys, Garage79R. We're going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to sit here while I'm warming up the shop. Uh, they just released the new updated rules for Extreme Street uh, for 2024. And um, I don't particularly care for the new addition for Extreme Street B, which was what I run in. Uh, so Extreme Street B was supposed to be kind of like the, the lightweight, you know, cheaper two-wheel drive class. Uh, they've added an allowance for all-wheel drive now. Now, the, all the cars have to meet, be above a weight minimum with a driver, and that's fine. Um, so they actually, at least they kept my weight the same. I think rear-wheel drive is still the same weight as last year. Uh, so for front-wheel drive, you're allowed, you have to be at least with the driver, 2180 pounds. Um, Rear-wheel drive, 2330. Yeah, and this is, you can tell, this is clearly aimed for like, like Miatas and stuff like that. Um, and now they've added all wheel drive uh, with a weight limit of 2480. You don't have to weigh that light. You know, and most all wheel drives won't, unless you're in like K cars or something. But uh, K cars ain't gonna be running in the class anyway. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's a mistake to put all wheel drives in the basic two wheel drive class, essentially. You know, all wheel drives competing against S2000s and Corvettes, sure. But competing against Miatas and Tercels and, you know, MR2s and stuff like that, I don't know. I mean, yes, it, it, it still comes down to driver, uh, driver experience and car prep and all that. But the potential's there. Someone came in with an unlimited budget. Yeah, say take like an early Impreza. How much, what is the early, let's, let's do this. Uh, 2001 Impreza 2.5 RS weight. Okay. So, what is that, a GC8 or whatever? The good looking Imprezas. Uh, it says they're 2820. 20, and that's without a turbo. I mean, I don't know how much weight you can really take out of them and still be legal for the class. Because, like, we're supposed to have, like, a, you know, like, you can pull behind the B-pillars. You can pull the seats and stuff like that and the carpet. But it's, you know, how much weight is there to be really to be saved? Um, 20, 30 pounds. Uh, we're still supposed to have somewhat of an in, a finished interior. Like, okay, you can pull the door panels, but you should at least, like, skin it with aluminum or something. But, you know, just make the car look finished, not just stripped. Um... So I don't think there's a whole lot of weight there in most cars, including mine. That's why I still run a full interior because it's like, what am I going to save 15 pounds to make the car louder and radier? Um, but we'll just stick with this example. So if you take like a, you know, whatever this chassis is called, I think it's GC8, but I could be wrong. But, you know, like the 98 to 01 Impreza, put a built, you know, STI driveline in it or whatever, you know, and... You know, even if you made three, four, well, let's call it 400 horsepower. And say you get the car down to 2,700 pounds. It's still going to out 60 foot most of us. And that's where our, my biggest problem is with this class. Um, I've, you know, been running autocross enough to know a lot of times the cars that are faster are making it in that first 60 to 100 feet. Basically getting off the line. Once we're moving, it's relatively even. Again, depending on car prep and driver uh, experience. But, I mean, what, what do you guys think? If any of y'all have actually run an uh, autocross, I think it's dumb. I think I think our class should stay two-wheel drive. Because uh, you take this, say, we'll stick with this Impreza example. Say you have a nice Impreza. Let's, make, let's call it 350, 400 horsepower. You do the arrow, you run the widest 200 tires you can physically fit on a car. You have a proper weapon. And yeah, it'll be awesome, but is it directly comparable to Miatas, Tercels, Corollas, MR2s? What else is has run in our class? I mean, it's not, it's, they should be running with the bigger rear wheel drive cars, you know, like S2000s, uh, you know, Corvettes, you know, like C5 Corvettes, whatever. So, I. I don't know. Maybe I'm just 
scared. I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't think I'm really scared. I'm just, I want fair competition. And with a wide open class, essentially, I think it's, I think it was a poor decision to include all wheel drives. Um, and I have a feeling that might even change next year. I'm sure some, some, somebody's going to abuse the rules and then the rules are going to have to change back next year. Um, so what do you guys think? You know, any of you guys that run in the XP if you're, or, you know, or eight, just autocross in general, do you think Tercels and Miatas and the like should be competing against, you know, WRXs and Evos and stuff? No, I don't think so. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I mean, again, they still got to get it around the cones, you know, in a timely manner. And, you know, I, a 300, what was it? So, if you compare the lightest to the heaviest, so if your front wheel drive was supposed to be 2180 and all wheel drive was supposed to be 2480, that's 300 pounds. Is that enough to offset the difference for all wheel drive, you know, essentially superiority? I don't know. I don't think it is. I think at the very minimum, Okay, if we're gonna have a weight limit there, then they should be limited to, you know, a stock size tire or something like that. You know, like if the car came with two fives, then it needs to stay on two fives or something. You know, I, I'm not the rule maker. You know, I, I don't know how they come up with these rules sometimes. But if you look at the Extreme Street A, front wheel drive minimum weight with driver is 2680. All wheel drive is 3180. That's 500 pounds. That I can agree with. Why didn't we keep the 500 pound spread in Extreme Street B? Uh, let's see. From So in Extreme Street A, 2680 for front wheel drive, for rear wheel drive, 2930. So I can't math in my head anymore. That's what, 250 pounds? Okay. In Extreme Street B, that is, the, the spread between front wheel drive and rear wheel drive is 150 pounds. I mean, I guess they scaled it down a little bit. I don't know. I, I mean, on a local level, it may not be much of a big deal, and I was discussing this with all my buddies slash competitors, um, but on the national level, I mean, somebody's gonna abuse the hell of this, out of this rule set and, you know, just wipe the slate clean. Um, but one cool thing I like about the new rules, they now have introduced a wide open class called Extreme Street Unlimited. So eligible vehicles, all production vehicles using an automo autom automobile based engine with seating for two or more adults. Windshield wipers are not required, which is, why, why is that even its own line? In addition to allowances, hold on, let's scroll this down. Am I scroll down all the way? In addition to allowances earlier in these rules, are the following aspects of the vehicle are unrestricted. Aero, interior, and weight. So this will be a really cool class to keep an eye on. Um, if I had more of a budget, this would be something that could be up my alley. However, I'm, you know, I'm poor and I can't do an unlimited car. Plus, I don't have a trailer. But this, I think this will be a really cool class. Just, you know, max out the 200 treadwear class and I like this I like this idea this is where like the crazy Corvettes and Evos and whatever should be perfect for and it, that would be awesome um, what are you guys opinions are you, any of you all any of my subscribers or people watching this running in extreme street what do you feel how do you feel about this uh, comment down below um, I mean obviously I can't change the rules I'm just bullshitting essentially um, but I, I think the all-wheel drive allowance is dumb for Extreme Street B. Maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm sure if I was an all-wheel drive guy, I'd be like, yay, now I can go wipe a slate clean in a class of, you know, poor people. But let me know what do you think. I'll see you guys on the next one.